2023 showcased impressive resilience and solid fundamentals across the retail sector. Funds, syndicates and private investors dominated the market and capitalised on counter-cyclical opportunities. In 2024, we expect strong growth in activity with investors eyeing high quality assets with mixed use and value add propositions, as well as an attraction to secure quality leases with robust credit rated tenants offering long term security of income. 2023 was characterised by more resilient fundamentals across the office sector. We expect a rise in offshore investment in office across 2024. Stronger occupier fundamentals, falling bond yields and adjusted book valuations will converge to create investment opportunities delivering strong risk adjusted returns. Australia's residential markets continue to attract record levels of institutional capital with built to rent attracting most of the attention. This investment from both domestic and international sources is being attracted by the strength of Australia's market fundamentals as well as some encouraging shifts in government policies. High population growth will underpin both low vacancy and continued high rental growth. A record level of transactions was observed in 2023, including several fund through transactions and deals. 2024 will be another milestone year for the evolution of Australia's built to rent market. A number of platforms are set to open their first assets, which will reinforce the growing role of built to rent in Australia's housing market. 2023 was a really strong year for the industrial and logistics sector. There was $5.7 billion trade across 141 transactions. Well supported by the very strong underlying fundamentals, very tight vacancy rate of around 1% nationally, and we had 21.5% rental growth. So the most active investors were the core plus value add investors. We expect you know, that group to be very active moving into 2024. Looking ahead into 2024, there's been a real shift in investor sentiment. So we think in Investment volumes are certainly going to increase on prior year, um, and you've got the stabilisation of the debt markets and potential, you know, interest rate cuts in the second or third quarter. So we really think you're going to see increased investment volumes, further investors enter the market, which is going to lead to some yield compression in the, you know, the, the, the latter parts of 2024. The market's still going to perform extremely well. Tight vacancy, and we're expecting, you know, good rental growth, albeit probably not at the same rates as we've experienced over the last few years. Australian hotel and tourism sector made a remarkable comeback in 2023. Investment volumes held firm, underpinned by a number of premium asset sales. Pent-up demand for travel remains elevated this year, and we anticipate available capital will take advantage of the opportunities the market conditions create, driving transaction activity.